Hi, this is John Cheney with Pristine. Today we're going to go over a basement installation of a mitigation system. The portion of it in the basement is going to be the 3 inch PVC pipe that goes into the concrete floor that allows it to pull the air from underneath the concrete slab. The suction point is going to be near the edge of the wall, that way you can use the drainage tile around the perimeter to catch the entire footprint of the house. The manometer on the system tells you at what level the fan is pulling. It has these numbers here which have no correlation to the radon level itself, but it tells you how much the fan is pulling. The system will also have a label on it which tells you who installed it, when they installed it, the type of fan, along with the level that the fluid was at when it was originally installed. The part of the radon mitigation system that makes it active is the fan. Normally installed in an unfinished area, above a garage in the attic, um, sometimes up in the house attic as well. But this is what's actually pulling the air from the basement all the way up through. It's going to have an electrical disconnect here, um, and then the pipe goes up through, and then goes up through the roof and looks like a normal plumbing vent above the roof. The sump pump should be sealed on a radon mitigation system so it gets uh, suction from uh, all areas of the crawl space or the basement. This particular one has a drain in it because the basement has no other floor drain to accept water so the sump pump has to be able to get water in case there's water in the basement. The second portion of this is this one has a viewfinder which isn't required um, but allows you to stick your hand into the sump pump just in case you need to fix the sump pump or have access to it. If you have any other questions or want more information you can contact us at Pristine Inspections and Testing at pristinehi.com.